Welcome back guys in the second episode of this free SEO course. In the previous episode, I talked about how to choose a domain name and this is great because this is the first step that you're gonna need to do to ensure a better SEO ranking in Google and other search engines. Now the second step that you're gonna need to do is how to choose or how to write a better meta title and the meta description because this is the first thing people are gonna see on search engines like Google, they're gonna see the meta title and the meta description and if they like what they read, if they like what they see, they're gonna click and if they click, they're gonna go to your product page and you're gonna make a sale and this is your purpose as an online entrepreneur. Now, let's see it in practice. So now we're going to see a practical example where the meta title and the meta description are shown on search engines and we're going to use Google, of course. I'm going to uh, show a, an example here, Shopify agency group. Here is the meta title. This is the title of the page. This is the meta title and meta description is what you see here. We're not going to talk about that for now, probably going to talk about that uh, in the future. So now we're going to go uh, step by step. So here, uh, if you're using Shopify, I'm going to show you where to write this meta title and this meta description. You're going to go to online store after that preference. And here you're going to write the meta title. And here you're going to write the meta description. I'm going to show you uh, the best practice to do that, things to do and things to avoid and you're going to need to do that for every page this one you're going to need to do it for the home page and if for example uh, you want to uh, do that for a blog post you're going to go to blog post you click on this blog post for example you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and here you click on edit or search engine listing and here you're going to change the meta title and here we're going to change the meta description. We're not going to talk about URL handle for now. We're going to go step by step in this SEO course. So the second part of this course is SEO meta titles and descriptions. Now I'm going to show you the best practices, what to do and what to avoid, because this is so important because this is the first thing that people are going to see on search engines before going to your website. So this is crucial. Here are the things to do. Include primary keywords naturally. Okay, so for example, if you are selling uh, t-shirts for men, you're gonna try to include that in the meta title. T-shirt for men and on the meta description also. Try not to put something irrelevant. For example, you're selling a kind of, uh, you have a pet shop store and you're putting something related to iPhone accessories just to grab clicks. So no, this is not going to work. The second thing to do is the meta title should need to be under 60 characters. So Google can show it full on the meta title area. For the meta description, try to uh, keep it around between 150 and 160 characters so Google can show it on full on their search engines. The fourth thing to take in consideration is write compelling click-worthy copy. Try to write something, uh, not a click belt, but for example, you have, you're offering free shipping. Try to mention that in the meta title or in the meta description, free shipping. For example, you're offering free gift, try to mention it so people can uh, have this curiosity to click on the meta title or on the meta description because this is the first thing people are gonna see before going to your product page uh, or before buying your product. Now, uh, make each title and description unique for every page. Try not to duplicate uh, every meta title and every meta description for all the pages. I see all these errors, uh, mainly for people who are doing drop shipping. For example, they have multiple products with multiple variants, they create a uh, uh, a product page for each variant and they keep the same meta title and the same meta description. No, this is not good for search engines because uh, Google will see it as a duplicate page and they're not going to rank better on Google. Try to uh, try to slightly modify the meta title. For example, you're selling the same product for a different variants. For example, t-shirts for men, XL size, color blue, uh whatever whatever it's different from the other variant try to mention it in the meta title and try to change the meta description also for this product now the last thing to do to take in consideration is reflect the page's content 
accurately. For example, you're selling men t-shirt size XL, your product page should mention those keywords also. Because I saw many people, uh, they put some keywords on the meta title or on the meta description, but those keywords, they are not even present on the page, on the product page or on the article page or whatever. Try to mention those keywords at least four or five times into uh, the page that people get click on. Now the things to avoid. Avoid keyword stuffing. Keyword stuffing is when you put a lot of the same keywords on the meta title, on the meta description. For example, you are selling case for iPhone. Some people, they try to put case for iPhone, 70s, case, color blue, the best case. So they repeat the keyword case iPhone 17, they repeat it three or four times into the meta title, into the meta description, or even on the page. No, Google doesn't like that because uh, Google will take it as a spam. You just want to, uh, you have this eager so people can click on your page. No, try not to do keyword stuffing, just one keyword or maximum two and or try to make some synonyms, okay? Try to make some uh, synonyms if possible. This is good. This is not considered as keyword stuffing. The second thing to avoid is don't use generic titles like home or page one or collection one. Those are generic titles which have no meaning for the users, okay? People are not gonna click on, they're gonna see home, okay? No, try to put a relevant meta title, relevant meta description. The third thing is avoid duplicate titles and descriptions across pages. And this is what we talked about uh, previously. So each page should need to have separate meta title and separate meta descriptions so people can't flag that as duplicate pages. Now, uh, don't mislead users with irrelevant content. As I said before, you're, you have a pet shop store and now uh, the iPhone 17 came out. So you try to put something related to iPhone 17 so people can click and go to your page. No, this is not good because when people are going to go to your page, you're going to see different content and they're going to leave. And this is bad for SEO because you're going to increase the bounce rate. The bounce rate is when people, they... Uh, see just one page or they stay on just one page and they leave after that and this also going to reduce the time session duration because people if they stay five seconds on a page this is a bad signal to google that your page is of a bad quality and this is bad for seo too now the last thing is to avoid using all caps or excessive punctuation okay uh excessive punctuation don't use that or try to avoid them at all okay it's better to avoid them at all i'm going to show you one thing you can do also on the meta title that's going to increase the click-through rate the click-through rate is how many people clicked on the link divided by the uh, number of impressions for example uh, i'm going to show you an example here for example here i typed shopify agency scroll Let's say, for example, 100 of people saw this, but only one person click. So one divided by 100 is 1%. This is the click-through rate. What I wanted to say here is you can add a check mark here. As you can see, this is a check mark. You can add some icons here or emoji here to incite people to click on your uh, link here. This is, this is great. So yeah, this was a uh, quick guys, but if you follow this, so uh, in the previous episode, I talked about how to choose a domain name. Now you know how to write the meta title and the meta description. So you're good to go now. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about something so important is how to design your e-commerce store by keeping a very good SEO. No one is talking about that, but I'm going to show you how to design your landing page and your pages by keeping a great SEO. See you in the next episode.